Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to your 17th tutorial in the Intermediate Algebra Playlist. In this tutorial, I'm going to be discussing like terms and how we can use like terms to simplify a variable expression like this. So, what are like terms? Well, these are like terms, and these are like terms. So what makes them like terms? Well, if we cover up the coefficient 2 and the coefficient 3, then the remaining part of our term is the same. They're both a. And if we cover up the coefficient 6 and the coefficient negative 2, then the remaining part of these terms are both x squared. So when you cover up the coefficient, if the remaining part is the same, then you have like terms. So why do we want to know that we have like terms? Well, if we have like terms, we can add and subtract them together, just like we would regular numbers. So if you have 2a and you want to add 3a to it, because these are like terms, you simply look at the coefficients and add the coefficients together. So the coefficient 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. And then we write down the a. So guys, I just wanted to give you a quick review of how to simplify terms using expressions. So I think that um, 2a plus 3a equals 5a was a really good clear example. So now let's get to our math homework. And feel free to raise your hand if you have any questions for me. Thanks. All right, let's see how this goes. I'm just shutting my door so that way we have no interruptions while we look at the math homework. Okay, so it says given term like terms. Okay, so a given term would be this negative 19m. Honestly, we can put any term that has an m in here because m, oh, you guys can't really see that, but m. M is what we're going for, okay? So we could do M, and anything with just a M, we just assume that there is a one in front of it, okay? Then I put down negative two, M, because again, we are just looking for like terms, and we're looking for the M, and three M. 28, you guys can literally pick any numbers you want. Just no variables. A variable is an unknown number that we kind of disguise, if you will, as a letter. It's 28, let's pick 13, 6, and 610. Why not? These are like terms. So now we have 42BC. You guys see that? 42BC? We can do 13 B C, 26 B C, and 33 B C. Again, as long as it has the B C, we're good. I can even make negative, make this into a negative. Negative 26 B C. Now we have negative Y. Again, a negative Y. If there's a negative here, can you guys see that? And if not, follow along with your papers, because you each should have one. But here, I'll zoom in just a little bit here for you. Anytime we just see a variable alone, we assume that this variable has a 1 in front of it. So we could do negative 13y, 13y, and negative 25y. We have to keep the variable. And I will zoom out because I realize you guys can't necessarily see. So just give me a second here. Give me a sec. Oh no. Where's my... Oh, that's forward. Here we go. Okay. So last but not least is 5. And it's 2R. A like term would be... 4R, well, 
I like 13. Let's keep 13 R and just R. Because again, when we just have an R, and don't make fun of my R kids, but when we have an R, we assume that there is a one in front of it. So the next one, if you look down at this section below, it says simplify, simplify the expressions by combining like terms. So let me go ahead and fiddle with my camera just a little bit here, because I really want you guys to be able to, oh sorry. Okay, we can see six. It's kind of hard for me to see with the viewfinder. Um, but we have, now try your best to follow along. We have 4R plus 9R minus 11R plus 7R. We are again trying to simplify. Simple. What does that mean? We are trying to make this easy as possible, combining all the like terms. Now up here, we made like terms. Down here, we are actually just combining um, the like terms. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. 4R plus 9R is what? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 would be 13R minus 9, 10, 11, 12, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yep, 13R minus 11R is what? 13 minus 11 would be 2R because we have 13, which is the bigger number. Do you guys see that? 13 is bigger than 11, so we're going to have a leftover 2R plus 7R, 7 and 2. 2 plus 7 equals 9R. Okay, you guys see how that works? Let's move on to number seven. Okay, so we have negative R. Now remember, anytime we have a negative R, we can just put a one in front of it. So that means negative one plus six equals, well, we have a negative one plus six. We know, well, we can't simplify this, you guys, because look at 6 does not have a R, right? So we can't solve it that way. But let's rewrite it. Negative 1R <laughs> up plus 8R equals 8 take away 1 would be negative, I mean positive, 7R. Now we have 6 positive minus 14. 6 minus 14. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, which equals negative eight, my answer is going to be seven R minus eight or negative eight. That is how we simplify. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. I can go over the rest during class and that way we can have some of you maybe go up to the board and show me how you guys got your answers because I'm very interested in that. The other thing I want to go over real quickly with you guys I 
Uh, let me zoom out just a little bit. Oops, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. As you guys had a list of words, you had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine words to memorize because remember this is a summative test today. Um, if you haven't taken it already, um, these are your words and um, it's very important that you guys really get to know them, get to understand what they mean because if you don't know the language, how can we expect you to be able to successfully solve the problem? Um, so good luck if you haven't already taken the test and we will continue on going over the homework one, especially if you have any questions. And I, again, I wanna bring a couple of you up to the board just so I can really get an understanding um, your process and how you came to your answers. But my answers are, as you can see, but you cannot, I do have all the answers. Some of you might have saw them earlier, but we will go over the rest of them in class. And this is what I expect your notebooks to look like, especially if um, you haven't been keeping up with the journal, okay? So that's how you guys can reference the notes that we've previously taken, okay? You guys see that? I'm doing the same thing that you guys are doing too, just so that way it's nice, neat, organized, and I can also go back and reference just to make sure that we're all on the same page. But I will see you guys in the future, I suppose. So, bye.